Hello friends, Finch here, uh, playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, it is quickly moving up the ladder of my all-time favorite games, no doubt. This has been an amazing experience so far. And uh, so, you know, I was messing around today and I noticed on my map that I have this island that's way over here all by itself. And uh, I finally figured out how to get over to this island uh, without, you know, killing myself swimming and whatnot. Basically, um, I have a shrine on this giant peak and I can fly over here using my floater thingy, the uh, paraglider. Thank you. The thing that makes this island so interesting and the reason that I decided to record it is the quest that's involved. One of the coolest quests I've seen so far, basically. Uh, well, I'll explain it as we fly out, because it's going to be a minute worth of flying. So, to do this, uh, basically what I'll do, I'll run to the edge. You can see the island off in the distance there. There's a mountain on it whatnot. There's also a shrine out there. And, uh, let's see here. So what I need to do first off is, for me to have enough stamina to, to fly out there, I have to eat some stamina food. Uh, I'm going to grab one here. Which one was it that I wanted to use? Um, basically one that gives me a ton of extra stamina, because I am going to need it for sure. For to Just to get out there, I need it, because I'm not very... Uh, as of right now, I'm not too strong in the stamina department. I've invested all of my... Uh, orb so far except for one into hearts as you can see so um so let's do this so basically here's what makes this so interesting as soon as you land on the island a, a voice comes up and, and basically and you'll see it in a moment it basically they tell you that there's a trial that needs to be taken care of the trial is basically a uh, a naked run so to speak they take everything you have, all your weapons, shields, all your food, your your uh, clothes, everything. Except for, your, you know, they basically strip you down to your skivvies. And you're told to try to find three orbs and put them into three pedestals on the island. Sounds easy enough until you get down here and realize the kind of enemies and stuff that are on this island. Uh, there's a ton of moblins, octoroks, choo-choos, and uh, I also noticed there is a Hinox on the island. A Hinox is a, basically it's a world boss. It's a, it's a mini boss. Huge. I've killed a couple of them so far, so I do know how to kill them, but without any great weapons, I don't know how I'm going to make it work. So, um, I've tried already twice on this island. To, to get it and to figure it out, and I haven't been able to do it yet, so uh, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and try to record. So let's go ahead and uh, get the cutscene real quick. To you who has traveled to this island, I present you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on the equipment you found along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Okay, so uh, what I'm standing on right here is one of the pedestals. Oh, I'm sorry. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on the island. Only then will I acknowledge you. So uh, this is one of the altars right here. There's two more. I've found one of them so far. It's up on the up on the the cliff up here. It's how you can't see it from here, but um, as far as the orbs go, the only one I've seen so far has been actually around the neck of the Hinox. Which sucks. <laughs> that means I need to kill it. And they do allow you to scavenge stuff, which is good. And, uh, you know, I do find a lot of things pretty quickly. Um, another thing that's good, and I'll, I'll go to my, uh, just show you my inventory. As you can see, they took everything. I have nothing. Um, these are just the, you know, the game changer things, your paraglider seeds, whatnot. They mean nothing to me here except for the paraglider. Um, but what I do still have are my runes. Uh, so I have the two Dr. Bombs, I have Magnesis, I have Stasis, and I have cry Cryonis. Um, camera doesn't really mean much, although I will grab a couple pictures here and there. So, the first thing I did was I found these Moblin, uh, Moblins over here. There's a camp of them. I was able to take them out basically with bombs and whatnot and steal their weapons. Oh, we have a boat ore. Okay. Didn't see that before. Well, that's good. Also, another good thing I've seen is under a lot of these rocks, there's crabs. And, uh, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of these crabs, and once I kill this first pack of moblins, I'll be able to cook a couple crabs, get myself a little bit of food. And, uh, it, this, this quest is just so cool, because it's the first time in the game, really, 
that they've presented me with something just completely crazy like this. I mean, I've had a few different quests that were different. Let's kill this guy real quick. And he just set me on fire. Okay, cool. Got some chew jelly. And uh, let's take a picture. Oh, never mind. Can't take a picture of that. Um, and we're going to set the ore on fire as well. It'll deal more damage that way. So, anyway, yeah, I haven't had a quest quite like this one yet where I'm just kind of told to go do something. I mean, the very beginning of the game is like this, but, um, you know, it's a different ballpark, different ball game, I should say, here. So, oh, snap. Did not realize all the explosives were there. Well, that was easy. Set the explosives on fire. Cool. <laughs> and, uh... Go ahead and get some of this fruit, and we'll cook up a couple things real easy, real quick. Also pick up their weapons. Now, none of these weapons are really worth much. They're, uh, they're all kind of, uh, they don't do much damage, I should say. We do have a sword. That's good. One thing it stinks, I don't have a pot to, uh, to bake on here, to cook on. So, we can just throw a couple of the fruits in the fire. Oh, I didn't pick up any fruit. I thought I did. Could have swore I picked up... Oh. Oh, okay. It's already cooked food. Okay, so that'll that'll restore some hearts. Actually, we'll go ahead and eat one of them now and uh, get the full health. And then let's see if we can't uh, throw one of these crabs on the fire real quick. Uh, defense and attack power. Let's see if it lets you cook it straight on the fire. I don't know if it will. Yeah, it didn't cook it, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Well, at least we got something. Um, another thing, I found this out earlier in the game. Uh, whenever you get these rusty weapons, I don't think I have one right now. I just have the uh, the shield doesn't work. The guy out in the water there, the Octorok, he's just seen him there. He'll, he'll pop his head up in a second and spit rocks at me. If you throw rusty weapons at him, he'll actually clean them and improve them. Really strange how that works. Uh, you know what, actually, I think the rusty sword I found earlier was in one of these metal crates. So we'll use Magnesis. Wrong button. And you can pick it up and just drop it, and it'll actually crush the boat. And we got lots and lots of fruits in here. Now those can be thrown into fire. Actually, the moblins that are at the top of the hill up here, they're the ones that killed me the last time I tried this, uh... They, uh did have a cooking pot up there. As you can see, we got a guy up there in the grass, but I'm not going to mess with him right now. I'm going to stick to the coast here and uh, start heading up the hill. Just got to make sure... There's the sword I was looking for. Just got to make sure we avoid the high knocks. He's sleeping right now, which is good. But uh, I do not want to engage him because I do not have any solid weapons. There's the Octorok. So I only got this to work once, where I threw an item out and caught it, and spit it back out. It did not work that time. Okay, so I just lost it. That's awesome. And by awesome, I mean not awesome. <laughs> Should be able to get that sword back. Oh my god, dude, you're killing me. I can't seem to find it. There it is. Oh, never mind. I didn't see it. I thought I saw it. Okay, let's let's get out of the water here before this jagoff kills me. Okay, well that was unpleasant. And a real waste of time. Sorry about that, guys. So let's uh, re-equip our boat ore here, because it actually does some decent damage. Actually, you know what? We'll equip the spear, and uh, anything we'll see, we'll toss the spears at them. Instead of wasting durability on our decent weapon here. The spears break with one strike no matter what, so... Okay, the, uh, the Sleeping Beauty is over here. There he is. The Hinox. Um, 
You gotta be careful walking around these guys. If you don't crouch, he will wake up. And that's not a good thing. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna actually throw a stamp on the map for... That's where he's at, so I know. You know what? Let me see if he has any weapons around him. If you creep, if you creep around him like this and crouch, um, you know, he will stay sleeping. I've learned this on many occasions <laughs> previously. You can actually crawl right up on top of him and he won't notice you, but the second you stand up and make any noise, he's he'll wake up and he'll destroy you. I don't see any weapons laying around. Does he have anything around his neck? Uh -oh. You saw that spark, that means the lightning's about to get me. In this game, and this is another amazing thing, in this game, if you, uh, if you have any metal weaponry or shields or anything equipped during a lightning storm, uh, you'll get tore up. Hey, that's, uh, that's one of the orbs I need. Yeah. Oh, man, if I hit the jump button, is that gonna wake him? If he wakes up, I'm dead. There's no way I can... Oh, man, I was just running around without crouching. Stay asleep. I wonder if I could possibly... Oh, wow. I could stop time on this guy. That's awesome. got the orb. Oh man, I might not have to kill him. Okay, he's, he's after me now. So let's run like hell. Let's go drop this orb. And hopefully we can lose him. <laughs> I can't run. If I run, I drop it. Another thing that sucks is uh, when you're on this island, you're not allowed to save. The game will not allow you to save. So if I get two of the orbs sunk and I'm going for the third one and I die, it's over. I gotta start all over. Hey, I lost him. <laughs> that makes me so happy that I don't have to kill him without any weaponry. Now, if I finish this shrine and get everything done here, I will most certainly, uh, most certainly go back and kill him because you get a lot of cool stuff when you kill one of those guys. Wrong one. Let's go with Cryosis. So, can I throw this over there? Of course not. Oh, but it does... Okay. That's alright, it floats. So we'll just we'll put a block underneath it and uh, lift it up and then go from there. Alright, I'm not going to be able to. It must be too close to the thing. Okay, let's uh, just move it away a little bit. What a pain in the butt. Man, I'm so happy I was able to steal that from that Hinox, man. I really didn't feel like having to kill him. Because it would have been really tough. Really, really tough. Come on, get in the hole. Okay, one down. Two to go. But I don't know where those other orbs are. Like I said, I do know where the... Um, I do know where the one shrine is. Or not shrine, excuse me. The other... Um, pedestal. I haven't been to this edge of the island yet, so let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Grab a couple of these mushrooms. What else we got over here? Some kind of plant. Oh, a tree branch. Nice. Of course, it's nighttime, so now we got these buttholes to put up with. Not good. Not good. Although they do have some clubs. I could use those clubs for sure. Oh. 
with these guys, you have to kill the head. If you don't kill the head, they come back to life. And what also is cool is you can use, you can actually use their uh, severed arms as weapons. <laughs> this game is so amazing with stuff like that, you know? They can just... It's mind-blowing. You can use almost anything as a weapon. You can use almost anything. Or you can climb almost anything. Um, it's just, it's so crazy. Is that a treasure chest? Yes, it is. Let's go see what we got there. <laughs> Gonna have to use the uh, cryosis. Cryonis. I always screw that up. Do just like you do with the ball. There we go. Arrows. Awesome. I picked up a bow from, uh, as you can see, I picked up a bow that was, was hanging out with the, uh, the Hinox. He had one on him. So, that's good. Alright. Let's, um, try to get up high, a little bit higher here and see if we can't survey the area a little bit. Pick up some banana. Bananas are great in this game, by the way. Um... They allow you to cook these meals that allow, uh, or give you a lot of attack power. So they're definitely a good thing to have. And in the tropical zones of the game, they are absolutely everywhere. I mean, you can find them on trees all over the place. It's, uh, really nice. And you can make a lot of really good meals with them. Is there anything out there? Just, like, little, little mini islands. Really hope one of the orbs I need isn't out there. I don't feel like swimming that far. Oh, that was dumb. Oh yeah, now I'm just setting everything on fire. Put the fire out. Uh, yeah, I don't need it that much. Alright, yeah, I'm almost dead, so let's eat something here. I do need to find a cooking pot badly. That way I can actually cook some decent food. Um, I mean, just the basic fruits you can throw in a fire and it'll... And the mushrooms as well. You can just throw them right into a fire and you'll get, you know, a small benefit from them. But if you actually cook them, you can cook many of them at a time on a, in a cooking pot, uh, you do a lot better. You get a lot better bang for your buck, so to speak. They'll heal you a lot more. Oh, Jesus, dude. These guys suck at him. I hear some bad guys. You can hear those pig snorting noises. That's uh means we got some vocoblins around somewhere. Oh shit. Aw oh, damn. How did I miss this? Okay. Uh let's see if we can't silence this guy here. Not gonna happen. Here's what we'll do. We'll set our set our arrows on fire. So that'll give us a little extra damage. Is he dead? Yes. What's he got good for me here? Just some bacoblin horns and whatnot. Those are basically... Nice, another bow. There's another orb. Great. Uh, bacoblin horns are just basically items you can use uh, for making, like, um... Uh, what do you call it? Like, elixirs and... You can use them for some other things as well. They're not super valuable. Vendor junk, mostly, is what they are. Okay, so we got a soldier's bow. That's a better bow that does more damage. Actually, no, this dragon bone bow does nice. This was the one that we got off the Hinox. You know what? We're going to let this guy fire a couple arrows at me because, uh,. If he misses me, he'll be able to... I'll be able to pick up those arrows. Oh my gosh, this, these fire choo-choos are pissing me off. I need to eat. Uh, I mean, we could eat some of these apples, but they don't do a whole lot for me. Okay, the truffle will at least give me two. And... 
palm fruit gives me one. Let's just eat a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, see, I just wasted all that fruit. If I cooked a bunch of that fruit together, you'd get a much better benefit. But it is what it is. Oh, more arrows. Good. Okay, so, we know that the, uh, where this orb is here. And I'm going to mark it on my map, actually. Because if I die, then I'll be able to come on know exactly where it's at. Uh, we will use the leaf icon. How about that? What was that that I could pick up there? I missed that. Oh, a rock with a crab under it. Okay, just a campfire. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit by the fire, which will allow us to quickly get to the morning and the advantage of that is the uh the skeleton creatures that we fought earlier they only come out at night uh so this will keep them from spawning on me okay so since we got an orb here we need to find where the next pedestal is now i do know where there is one located uh at the top of the mountain uh or top of one little mountain above the hinox but that's pretty far away and I have to kill some stuff to get there. Do we have anything in here? A choo-choo. An electric choo-choo. Nah. That doesn't do me any good. My branch is badly damaged, so yeah, I'll just get rid of it. It broke. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we're gonna walk around and see if we can't scope out, uh... That other point, so to speak. You know what? Now that I think about it, because up here was where the one was that we already finished. Over here is the one above the Hinox I was telling you about. I know where that's at. That's the corners of the island. So I wonder if the other one is up here on the third corner, which would be up on that mountain. Now, I can't climb with this thing. I don't think it can be magnetized. No, it can't. Okay, so how can we get up there? There has to be a trail somewhere. Something tells me it's probably off to my right, but we'll we'll go this way just for the sake of fun. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Uh, although, these are helpful. This is ore. Uh, ore nodes. You can use these, or you can blast these. They'll be um, usually like some gems or flint or something useful in them. All right, so let's see if we can't head up to the top of the mountain here. So you can hear the high knocks. He's over here sleeping. Once again, we do not want to wake him. He will F us up. see by the skull on my map I tagged it earlier is there a path which way we're just gonna walk slowly and stay as far away as we can no 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 Looks like I'm going to have to just walk right past him, right towards those trees there. And let's just pray that he does not wake up. I suppose I could throw this over there. Yep. Just hope it doesn't roll towards him. Did not. Okay, good. Oh, man. Nerve-wracking. <laughs> Okay, so we're around that. That is definitely a bomb spot there. So let's go ahead and set this down. I hope it stays. It won't. Let's find a flat spot. There's got to be a flat spot somewhere.
Treasure chest. All right, that's good. Maybe something good in here. A spear. Okay. I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and equip that. Now nah, we're gonna equip the Bacoblin arm for now. By the way, here's what's cool about the Bacoblin arm: is they uh they come back to you. Okay, so that one didn't. But I've seen them do that before, where they'll you'll throw them and they'll come back to you. Maybe if they don't hit anything or don't hit the ground, they eventually come back. Basically like a boomerang. Pretty cool. Okay, so is there a trail over here, a path to get up the mountain? Please say yes. It does not appear so. So how do we get up there with one of these in hand? That is the million dollar question. Can't climb with it. Once again, I'm not 100% sure if there is a tr if there is a pedestal up on top of there, but I just it seems too easy to or it doesn't seem like a good idea to ignore the fact that there was a pedestal at the two other corners of the island. I mean, I could try throwing it up, but it'll probably won't go far enough. Hmm. That's a stumper. Okay. I'll tell you what, then. We know where there's another pedestal. It's up on this mountain. I know how to get up there. So we'll just go ahead and try to drop this up there. Now, there are uh, bacoblins up there waiting on me, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and the path is on the other side. I want to knock out this these nodes real quick, though. I really want this ore. Not going anywhere? Okay, cool. Whoops. Wrong direction. Yep. Just flint? Is that all you're going to give me is flint? Okay. Well, at least flint's useful. I can uh, use it to make fire. Which comes in very handy. Yep. So now we got to tiptoe past the big guy again. Here, the piggies up top here, the bacoblins. So let's go ahead and take the path up and see where this takes us. I'm just going to avoid these guys. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and find a place to set this down where it won't roll away. What the heck is that? Things like sucking air. I've never seen one like that before. It's some, some form of Octorok. Okay, do we have a flat spot over here to set this down? Go ahead and equip our shield. We'll take the arm and we'll throw it at uh, the first guy here whenever they finally notice me. But first, we'll be try to be as sneaky as we can. So we've got one, two, three of them, it looks like. And they've seen me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fire an arrow. Whoops. Well, that didn't work out too well. Neither did that. This is not good. Not good. I really effed this up. Just try to get away for a second. Okay. I don't have my bombs, too. Alright, I've got him. One more. 
Man, these big electric guys ain't no good either. The, uh, the electric shock, it can really F up your weapons. It can cause you to uh, drop them, as you've probably just seen. All right, I'm gonna grab this food and eat it real quick so I can gain some hearts. And maybe the best way to kill these guys would be to use bombs. Well, then, let's try it again, because I think I missed. Yep. Two down. Alright, we are in the clear. <clears throat> now the pedestal I need is right there underneath those steel blocks, but let's run down and grab grab our thing real quick. Pick up this arm. And then all that's left is to find the last one. And I have a feeling that like I said, I know that I, I almost positive that the pedestal is up on top of that island, but I do not know, or mountain rather, I do not know about the orb itself. But we'll go ahead and climb up there and see what we can find out and go from there. And maybe there'll be something good in here. Probably fruit again, like the last one had. But that's okay, we can use it to cook. See, that's at a corner of the island. Once again, this one was way up here, the first one. So I am pretty confident that climbing this other mountain is going to do us some real good. So let's pick up what we can. Cool. Uh, that pot lid that I just picked up can be used as a wooden shield, um, although it's not a very good shield. Okay. We, we can't magnetize the pot, so we're going to have to build a fire underneath of it. Looks like there's some wood there, so we'll go ahead and use our flint. And the way the flint works in this game is you set it down, and then you have to basically just strike it with a metal object. And that'll light it. Or that's the easiest way to do it, anyway. You can also, um, if you want to, you can light it on fire with, like, a fire arrow or something of that sort. But I ain't got none, so... Alright, this will just take a moment here. Cook this stuff up. You can hold f five items at a time. And then you take those items and you drop them in the pot. You get this cute little animation, which I will skip. And then you get food. Uh, as you can see with the three swords, that means it's a, th a high level attack power boost for the bananas. And that's why I like the bananas. Make they make you uh, stronger. It's a nice buff. As far as it goes with buffs in this game, you can only get one buff at a time, which sucks. Um, you cannot stack buffs, so like I can't get like a defensive buff and then an offensive buff and whatever all at the same time. You get one or the other. And uh, that's kind of a bummer, but you know, that's how it goes. These mushrooms usually give you a good bit of health. Oh, we missed the pot and we've fried them all up. Yeah, cool. Not cool, really. Um, you only get three quarters of a heart a piece where I could have made a meal that would have given me probably about seven or eight hearts. So, oh well. Uh, so we got that. That doesn't offer any special effects for the palm fruit. Let's find something that does have a special effect. Uh, attack power? Yeah. So we'll do two crabs and a palm fruit, and that should give us uh, an attack power bonus that will also restore some hearts. Yep, six hearts restored, two minutes, ten seconds on the attack power bonus. Very nice. Cook five apples at once. Okay, we're good. Um, these other couple of fruits here that offer, let's see, heat resistance, 
and help against electricity. Those I'm actually not going to cook right now. I'd rather gather some more of those so I can make a stronger meal later. Okay, that's that. Our guy is still asleep down there. So now what we gotta do is climb up there. Do we see anything good? Looks like we've got an establishment. I'm sure there's some bad guys walking around somewhere over there. We need to figure out what's the best way to climb this. Not gonna get too high up by floating. Okay, there's a lot of flat spots, so we should be okay. Um, whenever you climb, it uses your stamina, uh, which would be the green ring. As you can see, it depletes, but if you find a spot that's a little flat, you can stop climbing and start walking, you'll gain your stamina back. Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck is up with that? I did not like that one bit. Um, we'll stay off to the side a little bit here in case it decides to do that again. And, of course, we've got a lightning storm. That's not good. Uh, whenever it storms in this game and it's raining, it makes it hard to climb, believe it or not. So, I could see the last orb up there. Awesome. Uh, it was right about here, huh? So let's go ahead and mark that. And I noticed the guy off to my left uh, had... Looked like he was about to spot me. So, let's get ready for him right now. Let's go ahead and pack up. What do we got here? Cobblin arm. Yeah, we'll use that. We'll throw that at the first enemy that comes close. And I've got the better of the shields. And let's go ahead and eat some food and get one of those bonuses. Four minutes, ten seconds, and it refills almost all my hearts. Okay, so attack bonus. That'll make us stronger. Let's get this guy before he alerts everybody. Ooh, that was close. Uh-oh. We need to drop the shield or else we're going to get fried. Let's go and equip the crappy pot lid. So we're going to try to be as stealthy as possible here. Which is something I'm not very good at in this game, evidently. Oh, we've got a Moblin over there. Moblin would be the big tall guy. Those guys are usually a pain. Uh-oh. Um... Did he just get struck by lightning? Is that what killed that guy just now? Because if so, that's pretty much the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, what do I got that's weak here? Torch? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was only going to take one shot to kill him. Alright, we've got ourselves a, good, a better shield that's not made of metal. And we can continue to be sneaky. Alright, I'm going to toss that torch whenever we find somebody. We've got a, a little bit better looking shield here. A soldier shield. A sword. Awesome. Oh, wow, that was... The Moblin got killed by lightning. The big guy. That is nice. That saved me a lot of crap. Is everybody dead? Yeah, looks like everybody's dead. Nice. Nope, there's one more. So I'm just grabbing as many weapons as I can here. One thing that really sucks about the rain in this game as well is, uh... You can't start a fire when it's raining. Uh, so I can't sit this one out next to a fire. We kind of just have to wait, and that sucks. But in the meantime, uh... Notice there is a big old slab on top of here. And I'm not sure how to move it. I doubt it's metallic. I've seen these slabs before. Yeah, it's not metallic. 
I do not know what to do here. They don't blow up. I've tried this before as well. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, stasis? Ah, here we go. So with stasis, what this allows you to do is... Uh, it'll let you stop an item. And you can hit it repeatedly while it's stopped. And you see that arrow? It's going to go flying off. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So, um, yeah, that's a really cool thing with this game is... Uh, a really cool feature, I should say, is uh, you can move some really big, heavy items that way using the stasis uh, rune that you've acquired at the beginning of the game. Not everything works with stasis, uh, but, you know, it worked for that one, so <laughs> we're good to go. And we've enacted the shrine. Very good. So, I have to assume that when we go inside the shrine, uh, there's probably a challenge in there, like all shrines in this game. And, at the end, I hope I get all my stuff back. You've done well to complete the trial. I will now return your things as promised. Okay, so I've got them back now. Excellent. Enter the shrine. Alright. We did it. So let's enter the shrine and see what we got going. Uh, yeah. Everything I have is metal. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, we're good. Um, now wait a minute. Any of the... Whoops, wrong button there. Any of the items that I picked up here, though, I don't have them anymore. Huh, bummer. Not that it's a huge deal. Um, because everything I had before was much, 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 much better. But, you know. Uh, I'm gonna actually change clothes real quick. I have climbing gear as my thing here, my shirt, and that gives me a climbing bonus. Uh, makes it, makes you climb faster, so. Go ahead and put that on. Okay. Everything's wet, so it's still a little slick. We'll give it a minute to dry up as the sun comes out. Or the moon, I should say. And it has completely stopped raining now. And yeah, that shrine, I'm almost positive, was up on top of this mountain. wonder what's the quickest way up. Because that does not look very promising this way. Oh yeah, no problem. That's good. Okay. Recover. There it is. While we're here, let's get us a little meat. Well, for a moment I thought the meat was going to fly off. I was going to be stuck without it. It would have been a waste, but we're good. Okay, so whenever you open one of these shrines, basically you have to... Uh, quote, examine it first, and you drop your Sheikah Slate in, and that activates it as a travel spot and also opens the door. And then we will enter the shrine. And there's a little cutscene every time you go into a shrine. I like to skip it. Uh, it basically just gives you this, some bullshit about how you need to complete it. And then it pops up the name of the shrine, uh, which then gives you an idea of what's going on here. Korgu Chide's Blessing. Okay, it appears there's no challenge inside this shrine. That's good. That makes it easy. So I'm gonna get rewarded with a chest, and then the orb, and then that'll be it. The only thing left to do on the island here is to go kill that Hinox. 300 rubies. Nice. These monks are all real creepy looking, by the way. <laughs> Every time I... And this is like the... I want to say f it's at least been well over 40 shrines I've completed. Um, it's always just strange every time I see one of these guys. Alright. Last but not least, let's go... Let's go rip up this sleeping Hinox. Since I've got my full... 
assortment of weapons. So the basically the best way to kill Hinoxes um, that I've discovered, I've killed three of them so far, I think, is uh, first of all, if you use your bow and arrow, you can hit him in the eye. He has one eye, if you didn't notice. The only thing that sucks about the one eye is that he tends to cover it after a moment or two. Um, so he knows that that's his weak point. And then what you do is you get a big two-handed weapon. I've got two of these duality at wet edges, so we'll use those. Um, and you could do this, like, spinning attack like this until you run out of stamina. And what you want to do is stand between his legs and just keep doing that. And most of the time, that kills him reasonably quick. Um, the last the last one I killed, I never even bothered with any arrows at all. Although, I am going to at least equip good arrows, just in case. Uh, and we'll go with the ice arrows, because that'll freeze him. Oh, I'm not sure about yeah. this guy. The only object to be found here is this strange building. What is my purpose? Finding my freedom. Okay, this is a Rito, by the way. Um, it's a race of bird people in the game. This is only the second one I've seen so far in this game. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stop talking to him for a minute and come back in a minute. I wanna go kill this Hinox. Uh, we'll leave the discussion with him to another day. I also see that our Bokoblins have respawned. There he is. Okay, so we'll glide in slow. I wonder if I use the ice arrow when he's asleep, if it'll freeze him. I'm not sure if it will or not. Since I'm not hitting him in the eye, I don't know if it'll work. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so when he looks at me here... I just want to hit him right the eyeball. Easier said than done. <laughs> Let's see his eye. Uh... run because he will F me up. Need to get some food in our belly here. Uh, this will give us almost all of our hearts back and also give us a little extra stamp. Definitely should have killed me there. But he did kill me. I just happened to have a fairy in my inventory, uh, which brings you back to life if you happen to serve or if you uh, happen to have one. So. See, he covers his uh, Boy, that was a close fight. <laughs> all right. First of all, we'll cut this. Well, I can get us some wood. A Hinox toenail. Roasted trout. Haven't had that yet. Bass, toenail, a club. Pulling all the meat from the shell in one go. Yeah, it's just a snail, basically. 
expand this club. I cannot carry any more weapons. All my weapons are pretty decent, so I'm not going to bother uh, dropping any of them for this club. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure how many how many hit points this thing has, so let's... Uh... Go ahead and drop that sword real quick and see what we got with this thing. 24. That's better than the sword had. But that's a big two-hander. I've got other two-handers. Okay, we're good. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks a lot uh, for joining me here. This was a fun adventure. I'm surprised I didn't die at all, even though technically I did die and the fairy saved me. Um, but uh, we managed to make it, and we completed the really fun, really cool quest. That might that might be my favorite quest I've, I've done so far in this whole game. Um, and I've done a lot of quests uh, already. So uh, thank you for joining me. And if you want to check out any more of my Zelda footage, you can find it here on the Jeff Finch Experiment, uh, as well as my podcast and some other random videos. Uh, you can also get a hold of me. The best way to get a hold of me is on Twitter, at FinchJFX. You can check out my Twitch stream, which I have been doing some live streaming here and there of Zelda, as well as some other games lately. Uh, also FinchJFX, twitch.tv slash FinchJFX. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.